You know, I have been hearing a lot about Taylorport in this red wine. So I figured it's high time to give it a shot and see what all the fuss is about. So let's get into it. Welcome to my channel, my name is Brianna and I am a sommelier turned stay at home mom and on this channel we chat all things wine and lifestyle. Today we're going to be discussing Taylorport and we're going to be answering a few questions. What is it? Why should we drink it? And what does it taste like? What is Taylorport? Or more specifically, what is port? What is a port wine? Port is a rich ruby red wine that's made from several different types of grape varietals. These different grapes are blended together for the optimum and maximum complexity. The grapes that are typically used for this wine are Tariga Nacional, Tinta Roriz, Tariga Francesca, Tinta Barroca, and Tinta Chao. Did I say that right? Chao. Tinta Chao. Now, I know most of you guys have no clue what the heck those wines are. You didn't even know grapes existed by that name and that's okay because not many people know but it's always good to know the type of grapes that are in a wine just for curiosity's sake these grapes in port itself originate out of portugal hence the name port i mean i don't know if they have any relation but i'm, I'm assuming yeah more specifically the duodo region of portugal most of these vines and vineyards are grown along the depths of or along the banks of the Duodo River, which is about 50 miles long. So these wines see a lot of uh, marine influence as well as a lot of sun exposure. I mean, it's right smack in the middle of Portugal. And if you didn't know, Portugal is really hot. What sets port wine apart? from any other red wine on the market. Well, the first thing is gonna be the fact that port wine is a fortified wine. So essentially, this is a red wine that's been blended with some sort of high proof alcoholic beverage or spirit. More often than not, that spirit is gonna be brandy. And we all know brandy. Another thing that sets port wine apart is the fact that it is characteristically sweet. Most port wines, no matter where you get it from, not only are they gonna be higher in alcohol because they're fortified with a spirit, but they're also gonna be really sweet wines. These are meant to be dessert wines. A port wine is meant to be drank with dessert because it kind of brings out the sweet nature and the fruity nature of a balanced dessert. However, as we all know, most people drink port wine or sweet wines any time of the day because a lot of people really like sweet wines, which is understandable because who doesn't like sweet red stuff? We all like it. Taylor Port in Taylor Port in or Port wine in general is a classic European wine that people have been drinking for literally ages. There are different styles of port wine, and those styles are classified by their age or how long they're fermented and aged in barrels. The different types of port wines are gonna be tiny ports. Uh, you even have some late bottle vintage ports. Um, and then of course, ruby red ports, which is what Taylor Port is. And now we've come to the best part. What does it taste like? When tasting wine, you always wanna start with the way a wine looks. Mine is a red wine with a ruby sort of tint to it. If you guys can see, it almost looks like a jewel, like the actual jewel ruby, which is why they call it a ruby red wine because it has the color of ruby. So it's a ruby colored wine. It's really actually kind of see-through. You know, you can't, it's not really dark. You can kind of see through the glass. Um, and it looks like, to be honest, like it's gonna taste like a cherry. It really does. Let's smell it. Now, usually I have a stamped glass, but I don't, I, like my cat broke my glass, so RIP to me. On the nose, the wine is, you can tell it's going to be sweet. <laughs> a lot of cherry, a lot of pomegranate, almost like a Jolly Rancher. Like it's really candied. The fruit is really candied. So yeah, candied fruit, sort of like a raspberry cherry jam. A little bit of blueberry, nothing black. It's just a lot of red fruit. Like I said, most ruby red ports aren't really aged that long. So it's not going to have a lot of oak characteristics. Let's taste it. Mm. 
it also tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Candy fruit, candy cherry, candy raspberry, a little bit like a ginger thing kind of going on, like candy ginger. You also get kind of a vanilla thing. That's probably that oak that's coming through as well. Uh, the alcohol is burning my throat. It's a lot of alcohol. I believe the percentage on this wine is about, yeah, 18% alcohol by volume. So that's a lot for a wine. Typically, wine is about 12 to, well, 10 to 13% for the most part. This is 18%. And that's a characteristic of port because, like I said, port is a wine that's fortified with a high-proof spirit such as brandy. And I'm pretty sure they use brandy for this. But surprisingly, I don't get a lot of elements of the brandy. I don't really taste, maybe I taste a little caramel because a lot of brandy typically has that caramel sort of taste and component to it. And that's maybe all that I'm getting from the brandy, but I'm not really getting a lot of characteristics from the brandy or from the spirit. The only thing I'm really getting, the only thing I'm really getting there is like I said, the caramel and the alcohol, which is good because when you have grapes and then when you have spirits to combine the two, it's really easy, you would think, for the spirit or for the brandy to overpower the grape and really make it taste more like brandy than it does like wine. But it actually is pretty balanced. It actually takes, tastes more like wine, which I appreciate because if I wanted to drink brandy, I would just buy brandy. So what do I think of this wine? What do I think? If anyone cares, I know you probably don't care, but what do I think of this wine? I think it's a decent wine. It's good. Um, would I drink it again? Probably not. <laughs> to me, it just tastes like a Jolly Rancher or like almost like cough syrup, to be honest. Um, and I hate that. That sounds kind of rude, but it really does taste like cough syrup. <laughs> it really does taste like cough syrup. And honestly, like, I don't drink any. Um, but it's a cool wine. I wouldn't drink it again because it's not my style. I typically prefer my red wines to have a little bit more body to them. This is super light bodied. Um, it's something that is meant to go down easy, which I appreciate. But like I said, I like a little bit more body to my red wine. I like a little bit more tannin in my red wine, something with a little bit more punch and meat. I do like ports. Um, I have tried other ports besides Taylor Port. Um, I typically find that the ones that are tawny, meaning they've been aged for about 10 years, I typically find that I like those more because those are the ones with more body. And that's typically because they're aged longer and they're aged in those oak barrels, which give it a lot more depth and character and complexity. So I am okay with this wine. I probably won't drink it again or won't buy it again because um, it's, it's just not my style. I prefer a little more body and I would just prefer a little, little bit more complexity. Um, but I can see why people like it. It's a good wine. If you are just being introduced to port wine or just being introduced to red wine or sweet red wines in general. And hey, I get it. I know why you guys enjoy it. I know why you guys want to drink it. I want to drink it. Me personally. But I mean, I got a whole bottle, so I might as well just enjoy it, right? But that's it for me. I am going to finish the rest of this glass. I have the rest of the bottle left. I'll probably share it with me and my fiance and just kind of enjoy the rest of the night. But if you have any more questions about port wine or Taylor Port in general, or if there are any other wines you'd like to see me do a review on, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And then of course, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video.